I'm Vin. I'm sorry. So this is something we don't usually do, but we did a fundraiser called a Rockathon where people could just donate $25 and the $25 would get them a quick song reaction while we were on live. So we've broken up all of that rockathon. It literally landed being like 15 hours um, and we didn't even finish all of them. We're gonna come back and do some more. We did like 85 songs or something like that. So they're gonna be broken up and you'll see us progressively getting more tired, but um, this is one of the songs, so here we go. There you are. Okay, ready? Fight the Youth is on its way. You guys ready for the first yep. song? Of the first Woo! annual Vin and Sorry Rockathon! <laughs> Let's go! Hour one! <laughs> and hold on, let me drink my coffee. What the heck is going on here? You ready? Yep. Go.
it's not going to work good. Okay, that was the first song. We've 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 heard your uh, your complaints. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> your complaints. Five minutes in. Uh, he's not here to review the song with us, is he? No. Damn it. This is a okay. So I, I'm gonna try to temper myself here, not for my sake, but for the sake of the other people. Like I, I don't want to spend 58 million hours on uh, on the review, but but. What he said here was really, really important. So it's basically um, the age-old thing about the, the older generation blaming the youth for mm -hmm. all their problems and all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So all the feelings of a generation fed with anger make all the choices for a future where, a night where all nightmares will come true. Right? So I was just reading a meme today about millennials. There's a millennial that was posting, and he, it actually wasn't a meme. It was actually a Facebook post from a friend of mine and he, he was talking about how, you know, everybody comes after millennials. Oh, yeah. And they make fun of them and this and that. And it's like, you were the ones who raised us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like... Right, right. <laughs> so you're mocking these people, and yet you're the ones who mm -hmm. the previous generation created them. And it's mm -hmm. this weird thing. And now, the irony of this whole thing is that the youth that he was at... This song came out in 91. Mm -hmm. The youth that he was advocating for in 91 are now the older generation mocking the millennials now. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. So it's like, and it's crazy because the millennials, if all things are equal and all things go the way things generally go, are going to be the ones mocking the next, the next group, group of people. Yeah. Yeah. Because we never learn. Yeah. Right. So like it's, it's the <laughs> age old battle between youth and why young people are angry versus whatever. Now I will say when you think about topics like climate change, yeah. that um, this generation has way, like, Greta has way more mm -hmm. of a complaint, of a valid complaint, right now, right. than 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. I will say that. Um, and, you know, allocate resources and things like that, where you have a finite amount of things, like, if we don't find solutions to these issues, and then, you know, Andrew Yang br brings up the specter of automation, mm -hmm. there are a couple things that the next generation of kids are are going to be angry about that we're not going to be able to relate to. Mm -hmm. So like when you have the combination mm -hmm. of like the advent of technology plus the depletion of limited resources, when that comes together, it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Jordan Peterson always asks people, do you think you had it worse than your parents? And this generation, the answer is obviously not. No, we don't. But I think a generation or two later, it's um, going to be, if we don't solve, oh, this absolutely. if we don't solve this automation thing and this yeah. climate thing, um, it's going to be a real problem. We're going to have a serious issue. Mm -hmm. One hundred percent. That's that's a fact. So, um, I think the song is is really timely and it's important. And you know, it talks about we're ready for the war for the war. Of course, this was ninety one, and Desert Storm was around ninety one, ninety two. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's just on the one hand, it's like this stuff never changes, and and then on the other hand. Um, it does change, and it's going to change for the worse if we don't solve the problem. We we actually Peter actually let up a pretty yeah important discussion in the, in the in the last Bible boogie we had, where we talked about technology and work and how that's supposed to work together, and mm -hmm. eventually looking to kind of create not a utopian society, but a society where people actually can generate revenue off of what they love doing. Mm -hmm. And so, like we, yeah. you already see that with. You know, video games yeah. and, and, and things like YouTube, mm -hmm. things like that, where you can monetize uh, certain things. So, anyway, um, I, I do, uh, it, it's interesting. On the one hand, it's like a, a contemporary song because it's the mm -hmm. battle of the generations. But on the other hand, it's, <clears throat> we got we got some decisions to make in the next 10 to 15 years that's really going to set the course for billions of people. Yep. And it's yep. a pretty crazy thing. So that's my take on that song. What do you give it? Oh, I liked it. I liked the kind of like groovy feel it had to it. Like it was kind of fun. And uh, I don't know how old it is. It seemed like it was a very old song. Like it reminded, you know, when they did the whole thing where they were jumping around, they were using their sweatshirts. It's kind of like, I don't know, like part of the dance and stuff. I was like, I forgot that that used to happen and stuff. 
Um, so it, it was actually pretty high for me. I was going with like a nine. Well, the other thing was, of course, the next band down there is Living Color. Yep. The other thing was, this is basically a black band and I had no idea who these people were. I've never <laughs> heard of them before. So I was like, okay, Living Color mm -hmm. and Fishbone. So you got two black bands in the 90s that were mm -hmm. doing their thing, apparently. You know, and they had the 90s style and all. It's a 9.4 for me. Nice. For sure. I flipped that in my head. I was like, 4.9? What? So there you go. That was the uh, that was that review. If you want to see any more of these, you can see the entire thing. And just look up Rockathon in our videos and you'll be able to see all the different breakups and it has all the other interesting stuff in there. So thanks for uh, rocking with us. Been out. Sorry out. Gone. And every time I see the hatred banking of these children It makes me wonder if the quest for peace will one day subside I'm not afraid to wage the hopeless battles I must fight